hi everyone welcome back so in this session guys just i'm going to share with you a Experian interview question for automation test engineer to do eight year of experience Experian is a product based company so it's a very good company and definitely we have some requirement you can check in the linkedin as well okay and now in the current market right so what the skill set is required so many of them like not getting the interview calls because market is not good right now but still we have a requirement okay you can check in linkedin you can check in nokri have a proper skill set so if you are planning to switch manual to automation or if you are trying to you know learn automation then you have a very man you know automation a skill is mandatory a skill nowadays days so you can start to learn with java selenium cucumber then api testing is mandatory a skill nowadays days if you don't have a api testing in your profile then you will not get the call you know you will not get the call because api testing must be required now these days so you have to learn postman and rest assured that is enough for you and you can start for the interview right so these are the mandatory skill i'll share this question then you can understand what type of the question they're going to ask you again it depends upon the panel i'm not sure if you will get the call from the experience you will get the same questions but here you can just have some idea of what type of the question they're going to ask you okay so i always this question will help you how to like preparation for your interview okay like you have already completed your course or you are doing some course so you have some idea oh this level of the question they're going to ask you okay because panel is not same please work on the complete slavers then you can just go through this question are you able to give the answer or not this is the good practice so let's move to share this question so if you are attending any interview the first question is your tell me about yourself and tell me about yourself what you have to a skill like what you have to uh, speak like your a skill set experience technology like the current project what they have expectation and what they have asked okay many of the video i have already uploaded and i have given some answer as well so here i'm just going to share the question guys so that is helpful for you and i will show you in the of the video how to get the all the answer you know i have a some website where i kept all the answer in the previous question uh in previous uh question like uh uh you know top level of the mnc so i already uploaded many video but you will get the proper notes as well okay so end of the video i will tell you okay second question is how to take the external data from the framework okay so if you don't have a practice on your framework please do not start your interview framework is very important right so when you are doing any validation right you have a, some external data where we can maintain our data right so i can say i can uh, handle by the excel sheet then you have a library how to uh, fetch the data from the excel right then uh, it depend upon you know company requirements so i'm taking the i'm maintaining data in a json file properties file right an xml file right or i have seen some of the framework they are directly taking the data from database okay so this is you know but this all the things you have to know how to implement in our framework okay so note down this point next move in the next question write a code to read the data from the properties file see they have asked this question okay so how to read the data from the properties file so it's a very easy code you will get in the google and you will get in my previous video and notes okay or you can just google it you will get many uh, uh code and just you can use in your framework explain data provider and write the code for data providers okay so what is the data provider so if you know the test ng then you have to know like you you know already the data provider so data provider like multiple set of the data we can have a maintain over there so we have a at the rate um, 
data provider annotation right so just you can go through the test ng and if you don't then you can go for my previous video or my playlist many playlist is already there okay how to handle exception in selenium i already made the video and just go through that okay what is the catch block so this is the exception handling uh how you know java you have to brush up even i'm working on the siege of the java but in the description right you will get all the playlist i have a uh, you know playlist for exception handling where you will explore how we work uh a, you know exception handling in java okay so we'll get all the thing over there okay what version of selenium you are using check what the current version we have a selenium okay have you worked on api testing see i told you right api testing is a mandatory skill nowadays days if you say no you know if you don't have any resume right you won't we get the call at all okay so api testing you have to learn you have to explore you have a, some mini project you can mention over there right so have you worked on api testing if yes what tools you have used for the api testing okay so the tools you can say you know postman and rest assured for the automation library that is enough for you to you know start your interview what what is uh post and get method so these are the method which is uh in api so post like we have a post and get right so we have a cut operation so post means you are going to create something right get means you are get, getting the fetch uh getting the you know extracting the data from the server so again i have a full playlist for the api just go in the description and check it i have explained with code the what is post and get okay how to handle complex response data that is the one main challenge when you will work in the api testing so we having the different way to handle the co complex uh, complex response data either you can use the pojo class you can use the json path class we, we have a hamcrest also right so see how like the data or response is coming so better uh, if you have a very complex then we should go for our pojo class okay what is the status code in api so we having the many a status code for like i can say success i can say the client side as a status code i can say the server side like 200 series 400 series and 500 series are very important okay so next explain maven you know so maven is a build tool and you should know how to work with the maven okay then uh next question is one second if you have a hundred test cases then how to execute only test cases so best practice we can use um grouping execution and you can also use the maven sure fire plugin also you can check it in the google we having the many ways to execute only required test cases right i think this will helpful for you guys so yeah that's it so this is the technical round for experience and this is the latest question okay said by someone okay so now uh just go to this website you will get all the link inside this description okay in this website you can see we have a interview question for automation testing so you can see i you will get all the pdf here with answers so now we have a infosys uh, we have a tcs right so almost whatever the question i have uh, shared with you right almost i have already you know given uh, the answer over there so you can just go and you can check it so just this is the free uh, course just you can click on this just you can sign in your account you will get the access for this okay guys so that's it in this video if you are new in the channel please do not forget to subscribe and press bell icon so many uh you know video i'm going to upload coming days so i'm working on the java series you will get many just go in the description you will get many playlists that is useful for you guys again thank you so much and see you in the next video Bye bye